cover band. I joined a cover band so I could grow, dye my hair again. What are you called? What are you called? Undercover? Good idea. Hey, there That's you go. Good idea. Yeah. No. Okay. The Titanic's. Look at these posters, my brother. Yeah, yeah. No, but, um, okay. So when, um, so did you steroids and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, yeah, but you, you have, but the thing is, is not as what everyone thinks. I tried, but fuck all compared to most, right? Am I allowed to swear down this? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, right. Okay. You know, like Just it's bring a big, the show it's down. A, it's, a, it's a big, it's a big st- stigma, you know, or oh, if you're going to take this. I know people that smoke every day. I know people that do drugs, they do mm. ice, they do all that, but they're sort of acceptable. But as soon as we talk about sports enhancing supplements, everyone right. goes, ooh, it's like scary. It's like everything. If you yeah. use too much of it, you abuse it. But I mean, it's just use, not abuse. Right. So, but I mean, from what I did was marginal compared to what other people did. So if I did that, who knows where or how big I could have gotten. You know? can, I, can I ask, because a, a mate of mine, um, really, really big guy, he's by mm. nature huge. You, yeah. you probably actually know him. I won't say his name, but sure. he explained it to me that when you, when, if you take steroids, there's, you actually will train. Is it like a, not only does it... Yeah obviously build your muscle. Does it give you a feeling of like, I want to train, I want to be strong? Does it make you... I wouldn't say it makes change you, but your I brain? mean, but it's a placebo, right? Now, I could say, listen, I'll give you this here, and it's the best stuff you've ever, ever taken in your life. And if I believe it, and I say to you, I'm doing it, and I've never felt so better, and I'm telling you, your mind will kick in and go, okay, it must be because you say. So all of a sudden, if you do take it, you go, I've got to train harder. I've got to wash my food more. Got to do this more, got to sleep more, don't drink as much alcohol, cut out all the other stuff. You're telling yourself that it's so, really, you know, they've actually done tests on these athletes before in America where half the people had, say there was 100 people, half were on sugar tablets, the other were on the stuff. And the ones on sugar tablets had just as good as results because they believed it. Yeah. So it's what you believe in, eh? So, right. Yeah. So, it, but maybe one wonder, do you actually feel like, oh, I feel like I've got to get up, or is it just the fact that you know? I, don't th- I think it's, I don't think you, you feel it because your mental mind tells you that you, you are you're on it. You know, right. that's what I believe anyway. So, I saw two two mates of mine that uh, ride dirt bikes. This was uh, another eight years ago. Yeah, they they walked in. I was working at a pub back then, the Backpage Sports Bar down at Carrara there, and they walked in one day and they'd been mentioning it three months before, and they went racing. And it came back and this huge, ridiculous, yep. you know, but then it went away. You know, they, they didn't get it again, but um, it must be kind of an addictive, as a, as a man, to see yourself get so like, wow, these guns, look, you know, just get so, but if it was to fall away and, and you know, you don't take the stuff, I, I, don't, I don't mean to make this podcast about this, but <laughs> it, it's just something that will probably interest a lot of people. If you've ever done it, which I haven't, yeah. you know, what happens when – because look at me, I'm 43 now. I'm starting to notice loose skin in places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to train. I have to do push-ups every day. I, I'm, I, every day I'm addicted to it. Yeah. More so addicted to the fact of not feeling these loose bits of skin and stuff. You know what I mean? Like I have to feel a certain <laughs> level of tightness. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, well you? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, I suppose it comes down to looking after yourself and once again, you know, your food and – Stuff like that. But I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't say it's addictive, but it's like anything. Anything can be addictive to anybody if you let it be that way. Alcohol, as you're opening up that beer. Well, <laughs> I don't drink at home anymore, mate. It's been four months. Oh, well, there you go. Anyway, here's cheers. Anyway. Yeah, cheers, cheers, yeah. Four cheers, months cheers. of no drinking at home, really? which has never happened in my life. Just, so you, and, just, you just drink when you go out then? Yeah. <laughs> and that's where the funny thing is. Like if I, um, now I really can't wait to go out. Humans are weird, mate. So what makes you not drink? Why, why have you given up for four months? No, maybe it's young kids and I notice that I'm constantly – it's just another one of these habits, right? Habit, like I – Well, yeah, once again, it's, it's, it's a habit, but we know yeah. we, can, we can change these things. It depends on whether you've had a health issue, what you want to do with, to change your habit. I mean, it's only, your, only what you feel that you can change, whether it's alcohol, drugs, smoking – Addictions, I don't know, but it's 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 how you control it. So yeah. you know, that's why I look at it. Yeah. Well, one day, oh, oh, and I was running every single day down the beach, five k's every day. Mm. Still drinking five, six beers every night, but working on a computer till midnight. You know, and they're just like this, bang, just just gave it up through yeah. through a friend actually, through a friend Jody Brown who was on this podcast show. He did the same thing. Really, he's yeah. not going to drink all year. Yep. And I just went, wow. You think of that. But yeah, but the funny side, of course, is now as soon as I have a gig, 
I can't wait. Like, first, I'll just get in there. Give me a beer. I need a beer. Let's go. Well, do you want to go to dinner tonight? Yeah. You guys want to go to dinner? Yeah, let's go. So I can get a beer. But it's sort of like um, socially accepted as well, you know, like if you're going to go out and have a wine with a meal. I mean, hey, Jesus had red wine way back in the day, you know. Mm. So, hey. We're a funny, um, funny animal, mate. We, we want to change our brains. Yeah, well. Think of it. Can you? I don't, can't think of another... Maybe koalas. <laughs> they say when they eat um, gum, gum leaves, they get a bit whacked out. Yeah, right. Eh? Yep. You know, but, but for some reason, humans, we just want to feel some effect or we work so hard perhaps during the day and then when we get home, I just want to alter relax. my brain and yeah, relax. Sure. Put your mind at ease a little bit. Yeah. But as well, like you're saying, we get older, you know, we would just want to go, go oh, I want to get home, I don't have the fridge, have a beer, grab whatever's easy in the fridge because we know we haven't uh, had much time to organize or prepare food. And then just want to watch TV, find out what's going on, watch your show. But this is why, you know, everyone's putting on the weight more so than being active. But as we slow down, as we get older, I mean, I know that for myself, um, you know, but, you know, you're not running after kids, you know, you've got a bit more time for yourself. So you just want to relax a little bit more, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. You know, relax with, you know, problem is beer. Like the more you have, you know, the better it seems to be, you know. So that's yeah. why I quite prefer if I'm going to drink is have a wine now because don't, don't, I don't drink as much as well. Really? Okay. Yeah. I got into um, drinking. Uh, I had that same thing. I thought uh, I was drinking beer and put on heaps of weight. Yep. Uh, started drinking cider, thinking as everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> thinking that Be it beside had. beside yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought it was, um, uh, had you know, wouldn't make me so fat, but it's got twice the calories. Sure, man. Yeah, it's got yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of sugar. So, but it took me three months to work out why I'm getting so fat. You know, okay, red wine, and that that got me into buying. You know, red wine only has a uh, eighty calories or something in a typical glass. Uh, One sixty, I think it is, isn't it? Is it? I thought I think so. white was. I think. Oh, perhaps right. Something like that. A beer is up to three hundred or two. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure, but I mean, it comes down to like I was living in the outback, as we'll get to that story later. Yeah. I'm um, in the hottest place in the outback in uh, the remote Kimberley, up in a place called Wyndham, which is like, if anyone is listening to it, it's like, where's that? Where's Kalanara? Is that Wyndham Estates? No, that's Wine? Wyndham. No, okay. that's, no, no, that's, that's a, a, a little suburb in WA where, I've, uh, where I went diamond mining for six years. Yeah, and anyway, um, for example, like every day, it, it, it's apparently the third hottest place in the world on a consistent basis. So it hasn't got the hottest days but it's consistently hot all the time, and it's that humid heat, which is so, so hot. Like, I just went up there the other week to organise a house for a sale, and um, I've just never experienced heat so much like it. So anyway, coming back to the drinking thing, you can easily drink a carton a day because of the heat. You get sick of drinking water, so you drink it, but then you're drinking all that sugar, all that. So what? what's 24 beers time, uh, 375 mils? What's that like? Oh, what, uh, 10... Um, How many litres? I don't know. Say five something litres. Yep. Easy, man. So you're drinking right, that. Like you've got to understand. Like that's a lot, right? And this is where. And then when you drink, you want to eat. So then you eat whatever it is. Yep. And it's easy to put that weight on, you know. So you've got to be a bit more mindful of like, well, you know, if you do like something, like maybe have a wine. And this is where I think why society and why people are, are putting on so much weight, especially not talking yeah. about so much the young, is for they don't do as much because they've got the iPad and all that and don't want to exercise, but as us guys, just to relax. And that's what it does. It just, it, it puts on weight. So. Yeah. What'd you go, um, what's it like mining? Yeah. Well, 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 I didn't know it was a diamond mine. I, yeah, I, I yeah, knew, yeah. Someone actually told me that you went to the mines, Troy Star, the magician. Yeah, sure. Troy Logan. Yeah. 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 And, um, uh, I went, oh, well, I know AJ too. Great, great. Where is he? He's in the mind. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so just, a diamond mine. Yeah, well, things came sort of uh, about 10 years ago, just uh, when the GFC hit here, you know. It just, business went bad. Every, everything turned really bad. Gold Coast and that went really, really quiet, man. Like, I mean, yeah. I had a booming business for 12, 14 years doing really, like, really well. I had bouncy castles, doing kids' parties, and um, obviously doing stripper grams at night time, um, you know, doing clowns, magic jobs, all that back in the day. And I actually just had this conversation uh a bit with my, a couple of my friends, you know, just talking about the good old days, you know, and, and the work was everything just seemed to flow. And then, you know, yeah. years later, then all of a sudden everything just went like flatline. And then um, my dad suicided as well, which was a huge thing for me, man. So that, that was big. That was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do with my life now? 
My business has gone to shit. Oh my god, was he here? Yeah, yeah, he was here on the coast. Yeah, and he was like 62, you know, which is quite un quite unusual because you know, and this is a really big thing, man. Suicide, because people feel they fail in life, you know, and and especially when you work hard and, and do stuff and then you feel down. I mean, I've been through depression, probably you know, like a lot of people, but not many people are open about stuff, you know, mm. and people should talk about it more because it's um it's a big thing and might yeah. be able to help someone else that's going through a hard time as well, you yeah. know. So yeah, yeah. it's often just speaking. Yeah, yeah, speaking just and speaking. I think being a part of something as well and yeah. having goals as well is a, yeah. is, is a big thing. But there's that phone again. Right. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Um, so turn it down. Where can you Yeah, I'll just Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, mate, that would be I saw a doctor. I started to started to think about just driving my car off the highway. Yeah. And it yep. just happened all the time like a and, and I, I know I don't mind saying this because I'm sure everyone thinks this. Like for some reason, you just get in such a hole. Yep. And the greatest thing I ever did was just go to a doctor. Like a and and this I happened to luck onto a great doctor, who just, you know, said, "Well, you maybe want to speak to this lady." Mm. And it only happened a few times, and I spoke to this lady, and it felt like, ah, you know, just a little bit of advice. You know, I can imagine a sixty-two-year-old, your dad. Yeah. It's a different generation. I mean, you know, think of that. Like, you, you know, be man, like be strong. You don't have to you, – you, maybe you wouldn't unload your problems onto a, or a doctor or, you know, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, um, yeah, it's a hard thing because, um, yeah, of, of what to um, sort of think of it all with, you know, what he went through and stuff. I mean, I know a lot of other people go through a lot of other problems – but then, you know, you and, and anyone that has a suicide in the family, you, you kind of try and think and maybe what were they going through and try and work out in um, different um, stages about, you know, could you have done anything more to help them or, you know, what it is. But like I said, you know, we've all been at that low place in our life and, and, and it's just getting through and it's hard. I mean, I've been through it quite a few times and normally it's after a, a breakup as well with like a partner that's, really a big thing it triggers it triggers it off and especially i mean i've had my tombs and you know trials and tribulations with that and it's normally that's what would set it off for me anyway yeah. and then just to know who you are where you're going again in life and yeah. what to do in life you know so it, it's never easy big time yeah man so i, thought, I like to uh what are you doing with that just turn doing text your phone it? man no no just turn it down turn it off um uh I tried to say this in the last podcast and I still mess it up, but Gavin Top, the boxing trainer, yeah, he um he he does a like a a boys to men sort of thing called Fight Like a Pro, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you know of it? Yeah, I was there last week. Oh, were you? Oh, the week before with Mike. Excellent. And you told yeah. me you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did yeah. it twice. There you go. Consecutively, and and it's a beautiful thing, mate. It's sure you get taught boxing, but every day, what Gavin Top's a, gr a great, why he's so good at. Uh, Every day is a new little lesson that'll teach you, and yep. and and the basics of what what we want as men, you know, um, you know, a, a maiden to rescue, yep. um, uh, a, a territory to, you know, like a home to make, you know, I want to protect this home and a battle to fight, which could be business, yep. your work, you know. But once you get these things, but if you if something gets taken away, like your maiden, you know, you're, mm. you that, that's when you're rocked, you know, you're. Um, very hard to get out of that stuff, but you have to notice, come on, mate, you're just in a hole, you're just in a hole, you're just in a hole, you, you know. I, and exercise, things like boxing and, and exercise and, and martial arts um, yeah, yeah. is keeping very the, good. Keeping the body moving, the endorphins going, yeah. stuff like Surviving. that. Surviving. Like, yeah. you know. But when you go through hard times, it, it's hard to feel like that, you know. So it's um, – and, and I know it's, it's huge, man. I've talked to so many people and even the people that you think are really good are the ones that are suffering the worst, you know. It's, yeah. It's, it, yeah, but I know I know what you're saying. It's like having a goal, and you know, uh, and and if not, it's a career change. I've I've done so many different career changes. It's been crazy, but it's um, it, it's just all about life's different different journeys. You know, like we, we it's like a chapter of a book. You know, you, yeah. we just keep going through them all the time, and it's just knowing who you are. But we don't know who we are because our bodies are changing, just like you're saying. You know, we're getting grey hair and saggy skin. You know, the yeah. our, our bodies are changing. We've got to adapt. We've got to accept these things that happen to us. <laughs> Man, I feel for you. I feel for you. That's too tough. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so after that, I sort of had to look at my own life and go, okay, well, what am I going to do? 
you know, I was at a bad place. I just met. I just hey, met before the, then, pause you. Yeah. If I could, before then, did you constantly live with this thing of like, you know, dad's there, or you, you. Even